Hello everyone, welcome to Sir ML's Biology channel. Please subscribe and in today's video, he will be talking about the process of spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis is the formation of haploid male gametes or sex cells referred to as spermatozoa from diploid primordial germ cells. When we take a transverse section of the testis, Essentially, we are taking a look inside of the seminiferous tubules. So this is a particular picture of the transverse section of testis. And when we zoom in to a particular portion of the testis, then we get to see what is really inside the seminiferous tubules. So here in this picture, we can see the different types of cells in the seminiferous tubule, in a portion of the seminiferous tubule. Here we have the smooth muscle cells that will form the germinal epithelium. And the germinal epithelium will give rise to these primary germ cells that will divide and multiply through the process of mitosis into different types of spermatogonia. Then, a particular type of spermatogonium, which is singular for spermatogonia, will then go on to grow in size and accumulate nutrition to form these primary spermatocytes here. And these spermatocytes will be the first cells that commit to the next step of spermatogenesis, which is grow and become mature. So the primary spermatocyte will divide twice by meiosis to form these secondary spermatocytes okay. and the spermatids to form these spermatids and these spermatids will then undergo physiological changes in the nucleus, changes in the cy cytoplasm changes in the cell organelles, Golgi apparatus and the mitochondria to become a fully mature spermatozoa. So let's take a detailed look at the steps of spermatogenesis. Alright, so in the first phase of spermatogenesis which is referred to as the multiplication phase, the primary germ cells will divide and multiply by mitosis to form these uh, these different types of spermatogonia so you have different types of spermatogonia type a1 spermatogonia will divide and form type a2 spermatogonia as well as more a1 spermatogonia and then type a2 will form type a3 spermatogonia type A3 will then form type A4 spermatogonia. Essentially, these are all undifferentiated stem cells. Uh, the A4 will then you know, divide to form these intermediate spermatogonia that will form the type B spermatogonia. So the type B spermatogonia are the first spermatogonia that will commit and go on to form the male gametes. So this particular phase here will be called the multiplication phase because the cells, the spermatogonial cells are dividing and multiplying by mitosis. And all these cells are diploid in nature. So, they carry the normal set of chromosome number. So, 2n here means diploid or normal set of chromosome number. Okay. So, the, so, the type B spermatogonia will then accumulate nutrition. It will accumulate um, cytoplasmic material. It will accumulate nuclear material essentially doubling its 
you know, DNA material doubling its chromatin or chromosomal material all, all the cell organelles in the cytoplasm will be duplicated essentially it will grow in size okay so um, this phase this phase of growth that is being undertaken by the type B spermatogonia will be referred to will be referred to as the growth phase okay and the type B spermatogonia will then grow and become the primary spermatocyte which is still diploid and carrying the normal set of chromosome number the primary spermatocyte will then divide by meiosis twice so firstly by meiosis 1 or first meiotic division to form the secondary spermatocyte and now these secondary spermatocytes are haploid so now the chromosome number has been reduced by half the secondary spermatocytes will then again divide by the second meiotic division to form the spermatids again spermatids will be uh, haploid so here you can see the spermatids at different stages of physiological maturation okay so these spermatids are not fully functional yet or are not fully matured yet so they have to go through a very special process which is known as spermiogenesis to essentially form the fully matured sperms or spermatozoa which are again haploid so during the division of the primary spermatocyte to form spermatids is referred to as the maturation phase okay. and like I said the spermatids will undergo spermiogenesis or these different physiological changes that occur in the nucleus of the spermatids that occur that also occur in the cytoplasm you can see that you know excess cytoplasm will be sloughed off the nucleus will become more ellipsoidal in shape more condensed more and more cytoplasm will be discarded as as residual matter yeah. and then the mitochondria will descend behind the nucleus to form the middle piece of the uh, of the developing spermatozoa the microtubules will also come and lie behind the nucleus of the cells to form the actual filament and also the Golgi apparatus and Golgi bodies will form this acrosomal cap or acrosome that will carry hydrolytic enzymes so during the process of spermiogenesis the spermatids will become mature all right and uh, they will still undergo more uh, development and become fully functional when they travel from from the seminiferous tubules right. now the fully matured spermatozoa will then be conducted into the epididymis through a series of complicated networks of tubules that are joined by many seminiferous tubules this network is referred to as a rete testis and now the sperms will be conducted from the rete testis into the vas afferens these are small ductules that connect the the seminiferous tubule with the epididymis so from the vas afferens the sperms will be conducted into the uh, head of epididymis where they will be stored temporarily and also become more and more functional and grow then sperms will then move into the corpus of epididymis 
from there they will travel into the tail of epididymis or, or cauda epididymis and finally they will be conducted in via the vas deferens into the ejaculatory duct where they will be uh, transferred into the female reproductive system through the urinogenital duct so, so the spermatozoa will still have to go some more development within the epididymis so that is spermatogenesis and those are the different steps and phases of spermatogenesis so just to review we have the multiplication phase where so the spermatogonia divide by mitosis and multiply then you have the growth phase where the type b spermatogonia will undergo growth and accumulate uh, cytoplasmic as well as nuclear material to become the primary spermatocyte the primary spermatocyte will then undergo the maturation phase and divide twice by meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 to form the secondary spermatocyte and the spermatids then the spermatids will undergo the process of physiological maturation or spermiogenesis and in this process there will be changes that occur in the cytoplasm of the spermatids the nucleus of the spermatids and the cell organelles of the spermatid so these changes will transform the spermatids into the fully matured spermatozoa hope you found that video helpful please don't forget to share and subscribe and also please hit that like button and thank you